How is my anglais? Today is vlog day 824. Just pay attention to me, Gustav. Love me. Love me. Don't. Good morning. It's Friday. For you, it's Thursday for me, but that means it's French Friday, ideally. And today, you know based on the, the title of the video, I guess the title of the video, if you're watching on YouTube, what we end up deciding to do today, but I don't know yet. Natasha and I are gonna do one of two things, as far as I know. We're either going to try and get the best crepe in the city, which reputedly the best crepe, I don't know if it's the best crepe, we're gonna try it. It also happens to be a place Natasha has been obsessed with trying ever since I've known her. So there's always a chance that it's not the most unbiased attempt at a crepe ever. The other option is uh, playing patonk by the canal this afternoon because it's still warm outside and might as well pretend it's summer for just a little bit longer. So I don't know what's gonna happen. You do better than I do probably, unless I left it a very mysterious title. But before we can go do that, I gotta go sit and have a meeting with Richard. So a little bit of work, 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 you'll get to see Gustav and then off to you know a very French afternoon. At least that's the goal. Also, that dust I was talking about last night, here you can see it on my notebook. It's like, it's like, I don't know if it's pollen or what it is, the leaves outside are all covered in it. I'm glad he could clean the path of like the three leaves that were on it. Thanks, leaf blower guy. You're the best. Let's get to work. Voilà. He's not just where was I gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say like I a consultant and a dad, but he's also an at home barista. No pressure. Monet's water lilies, I see it. <laughs> burger joint. We're going to try this. We're going to take it to go so we can actually, you know, keep working. That's the plan at least. Mm. The lettuce was a mm. much an afterthought. Mm -hmm. It's good. I like the sauce. The, the patty itself is a little bit bland maybe. It's very small M. It's pretty small. I'm underworld. I'm just hungry enough that I'm happy. This is, I, and mine came with like vegetables on it, so mm. that helps a little bit. My friend was that. that is a lot of lettuce. How are you gonna handle all that lettuce, Richard? That's, that's disappointing. I don't think they're getting repeat business from Richard at this rate. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Very swoopy. <laughs> that was a lot of work. We just, we actually ran over our time significantly, but this has been great. Okay, now for those of you who showed up because you wanted to see what the French Friday was gonna be about, Patonk. I'm gonna go play Patonk with Natasha and it'll be glorious.
I'm gonna give this away to a random patron. We'll make a uh, we'll make a giveaway. <laughs> I already bought a copy, so I, I, I I'm gonna get mine. That's fine. We'll give one away, and you can get an early. Well, depending on how quickly we ship it, you'll get it sort of early. <laughs> In Patonk, I'm not gonna get into the points and so forth. Wow, it's really windy. This could be a problem for sound. In Patonk, there are eight balls. Uh, you can do teams of two. We're just doing teams of one. We're gonna play against each other. You'll see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And they're marked by fancy lines like this. And then we have a tiny little ball. Where's the tiny ball? Do we, we, do we need to go get a tiny ball? Okay. This is a perfect way to do it. This is the, what do you say, Pichon in French? Pichon, I think he said yeah. So this is the Pichon in French, or the Jack in English. Mm -hmm. This is the ball that we toss first, and then we gotta toss the, uh, the other balls and see who gets closest. That's the scoring. So we're gonna take three balls each, and then we're going to effectively alternate, but not like one to one. Whoever goes first gets to throw theirs, and then whoever goes second gets to throw until they have one that's closer. And the goal is to get as many of yours closer to the Jack or the Pichon as possible and whoever has the closest one ball gets that one point plus any others that they have that are closer than the opponent's other closest ball. It's very possible. We're gonna see how this goes. Hi. Oh my phone fell over though. Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't see it because my phone's being a jerk in the wind but my, my shot is closer. Yep, so you get to go again. Very good. That's closer. That's yours, yours is closer for sure. All right. Now it's my turn to try and get closer than Natasha. Oh, boo. I was trying to get to the other side. All right, so, oh yeah, so I knocked, I knocked it closer to mine. So I get one point, looks like. Here you go. The stick measurement to the bend. Yes, yours is closest. Nice. One point for me. Now we go back and forth until one of us has 13 points. So we're gonna play to 13 points, and that's how you declare who the winner is with the unluckiest number of points. But then you can also, oh, do you wanna just start keep drawing the same direction? We can move around, I don't mind. We'll figure this out. Whoa! <laughs> you're, you're technically closer on that one. Yes, I am! Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was a good one for you. Looks like I got a chance for three points, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That was So this is the, uh, you can use your feet, but it's not a great idea. So we found a stick. And then you touch your ball and you get that and you're like, okay, this knob is supposed to stay on top. And that one's too far, but this one's within. Oh, sh I moved that. And that one was within two. We already did this once. Yeah. So she got two points. Good job, Natasha. It is six to four. Oh. A very tight chance for another three pointer. So this goes. I filmed your successes, but I am more emotionally invested in my victory. So. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. Nine, nine, You're ready for you to film your victory right after that complaint. That's very good. Bonjour. There's a, a distraction on the field, and she got a point. Yeah, one. Still, it's a point. So what what's the nine to six now? Nine six. Getting three is gonna be really hard on this one. Good job. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. Fourteen. So What'd you do? Seven? I got seven. Not bad. A valiant effort. Time. We're gonna keep playing, but that, that was just a warm-up round. <laughs> the real competition starts now. Wow. 
I so got fun. one point. That was a very tight grouping. Anyways, it's what, 11 to seven? seven? I'm, I might win the next one as well, but we're gonna find out. She's, she can have a comeback. <laughs> Told you, those are all hers. She just got three points. Now it's 11-10. She could technically win this time. She could win this round. 11-10. Uh, my other one's like... Yeah, that was 13-11. Again, <laughs> it was a well-fought battle. Barely, you almost came back. That was yeah, you. She's was very surprised. Next game, she's gonna win. She's gonna take it. She stole another one. Natasha ended up conceding the last game because she's too hungry. I was I was kind of far ahead on the last one, but it was good. It's good competition, strong competition. We were just at Bar Orc, so if you would like to get, you can actually rent them from them. They, you saw they had a whole thing full of them. You can come get a drink, bring it out in a plastic cup, play petanque, and then return the balls after you're done playing. Not a bad way to spend a sunny afternoon. Of course, fall weather, you're gonna to wanna to dress a little bit more, more warmly than I did, but she like increasingly just pulled layers out of nowhere and got thicker and thicker and fluffier, but, yeah, Patonk, great game, great way to spend time with friends. I love it, I haven't played enough in a long time. Do you have anything you wanna add? No, that was good. It was my third time, so getting some tips from Jay. I, she doesn't need tips from me, she's great. She just needed to warm up and not be starvingly hungry. So we're gonna go have a celebratory drink and snack to celebrate the hardbacks and the, soon the release of her book, which is coming out on election day, stressfully enough. So November 6th, so if you wanna grab a copy, make sure you do that as soon as possible so you get a copy because they're all gonna sell out ridiculously fast and then you'll have to wait. Congratulations, Natasha. I said through the camera to her behind the camera. <laughs> okay, let's eat. What a lovely and terribly French time we've had. She is gonna go places, I'm telling you, man. Like, just look at that book, it's gorgeous. I have it in my backpack. I'll make a giveaway. I gotta find some fun way to do this over on Patreon. And I'm not gonna limit this one to just patrons. Or will I? I don't know. You have to go check out the post to find out. I'll figure this out in the next day or two. I'll post there. Go grab a copy of her book. I'll have Kate ship it to you because Kate, Kate is haplessly stuck shipping everything that I need shipped, which is a wonderful situation to have set up. And then you'll have your very own copy of Natasha's book, potentially before most anybody else, which is really exciting. So, and it's signed, ready for you. I'm gonna leave you here tonight. I'm gonna go say hi to Mark really quick, and then gotta go home, edit this, try to get some sleep. It's gonna be a crazy weekend, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, a Friday, potentially a fall Friday in Paris. See you tomorrow.